it is changing and it is not even stopping in the stop sign wow wow so what i'm gonna do is take over there is some space definitely on the left side i'm just gonna take it and let's go this is what i wanted this is what i wanted for my whole fsd experience Hello everyone, we're back with another full self-driving in New York, Long Island. The version is 12.5.2.1. As you can see, unfortunately I didn't get the version of version 12.5.4, but probably we're gonna get it in this week. But we're gonna test out the latest version, whatever the, we have right now, right? Because so many car has this one in hardware three vehicle. So we're gonna test that out and we're gonna see how the car performs here. Unfortunately, my outside camera is on 20%, but we're gonna see how that helps up too. So, but my interior camera is working great. My face cam is working great. Let's see how the car handles this one. I just turn on FSD and I'm, uh, I'm coming out from my driveway situation. So we're gonna see how the car handles this one. Uh, move to the right side a little bit more after coming out from that driveway in version 12.3.6 It doesn't go that much off um, on the right side But this uh, in this version the car did it, but we're gonna see how the car handles the whole drive So let's see we are gonna make a right turn on this stop sign and also if you guys notice that in this version, we don't need to touch the steering wheel, which is a very relaxing thing to do I came uh, yesterday from my wife's uh, college and I didn't even touch for one single time. But we're gonna see in this drive, I'm, tr I'm gonna try to look at the uh, look straight as long as I can so that I can, you know, like uh, tell you guys how many times it tells me to touch the steering wheel. So we are going straight and I'm just gonna lower it down so that you can see the view and the GPS. As you can see on that stop sign, it says pay attention right now. And immediately I looked straight and that uh, notification just goes away. Pretty nice there. So we need to change the lane and move to the left side because we are gonna march here on this stop sign we have to march and we're gonna see in this new version if the car needs the navigation because in version 12.3.6 we always miss this uh, navigation so we need to change the lane now we need to change the lane as you can see the car is completely avoiding it now it is changing the lane at the very last moment which i'm not a big fan of and we need to change another one as you can see it is changing and it is not even stopping in the stop sign wow wow completely didn't even stop on the stop sign i'm lucky that i don't have any other car i was completely looking there is no other car that's why i allowed it to do what it is doing but it is a bad thing the car is completely avoided a stop sign oh my god like what it never happened with me in version 12.3.6 in that location. That was the thing. In version 12.3.6, we are reached in our first destination as I was talking. So in version 12.3.6, when it couldn't do that, it just avoided that route, take a different route and makes that, you know, route probably two minutes longer. But in this version, it's pretty, pretty, so I'm gonna take over now because I wanna go from this road, not here. So we have to go and make a left turn because I wanna see how this narrow road situation, the car handles this one. So I turned that on again. So as I was saying, that version 12.3.6 never makes this kind of mistake. And it is going very cautiously in this narrow road. Pretty nice there. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like everything you're doing cautiously, I love it. But that stop sign moment, oh my goodness. Like how can you just run a stop sign in version 12.5? Wow. In, oh my goodness, bro, come on. And now we are gonna change the destination and we're gonna see how the car handles this one. As you can see, our car is, should move now. Okay, there is a car behind me and I'm just pressing that acceleration so that the car knows we need to go. I changed the destination, but unfortunately the car was not moving and uh, we had to deal with this kind of thing in version 12.5. Uh, it is very slow sometimes. 
And now we're gonna make a right turn on this stop sign. We're gonna see how the car handles this right turn. Didn't even creep because this is not an always stop sign. In always stop sign, you don't need to creep at all. You stop, you came first, you go first. But regular stop sign, you need to creep to look in your left side and right side. Probably on that situation, the car can see clearly left and right, but still you should creep. That's the rules we learned in the driving school, right? So we on this stop sign, we have to merge again. As you can see, there is roads coming from our left side and we need to merge after this car, definitely. Let's see how the car proceed here. And I was looking and there is no other car. Pretty nice there, just merged perfectly. So I will just go one more time and we're gonna see if the car can do that. We're gonna find out, we're gonna find out the car. I just immediately changed the location and the car gets into this lane and we are out of this lane, which is a good thing that our our back of our car is not, you know, in middle of something. Okay, it is trying to make a U-turn. Let's see, there is no other car. Okay, it is trying to do a U-turn. Okay, I'm just gonna take over. I'm just gonna take over because there is some other car is coming. Okay, I just took over. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry because I had to make this video, right, guys? So I'm just going to test that same route again one more time. And we're going to see how the car handles this exact situation. Last time, it just ran a stop sign. And this time, at the very last moment, it breaks. This time, it breaks. You saw the stop sign. It breaks. Like, but it was, it was a little fast. It, at the very last moment, it changed the lane. I don't look that, like the idea when the car does it. Like you need to change the lane at the very first moment. You know it, by the GPS that you need to change it. Just change it earlier, right? Because you can see clearly see that lane mark and stuff like that, but you are still not changing at the very last moment you decided to change. So it is what it is, guys. We need to deal this kind of situation. We're gonna see how the car handles this situation. I just, it says pay attention. I just paid attention and that notification just goes away. So I just changed the navigation. The car is proceeding. I didn't press the acceleration, but very interesting that the first time the car completely missed the stop sign. Oh my God. Like I saw so many videos on YouTube, never saw this happen in version 12.5 that it ran a stop sign. But in this version, it completely in my car ran a stop sign and it was very dangerous because if there is other car, okay, okay, a phantom braking there because that bus is coming a little fast. Our car just make that right turn and immediately realize that our car is a little bit of left side. Well, it needs to give a space to that bus. And that's where the car phantom brakes a little bit to adjust its position. Uh, not a good thing, but I just want to mention that in the video so that you understand where the car still do some phantom braking, right guys? We're gonna make a right turn here on this stop sign. This is a stop sign. We can stop and make a right after creeping and look on our left side. So we're gonna see after this, uh, okay, there are a few other car and truck coming from our left side and the car is, when I look on the left side now to view my visibility, this is green now, you can go. Okay, so when I was looking the left side, that moment the car didn't even notify me to look front because the car knows at this moment I need to confirm there is no other car coming. That moment the car doesn't even give any notification in the screen that please, make, uh, you know, look at the front or pay attention. So this is a good thing that at the stop sign or any other situation where you need to look left or right, the car doesn't notify you. So I'm gonna end the video, not video, sorry, the navigation here. And we are gonna see how our car does things here. So we're gonna go, it still says pay attention. So I immediately looked and the notification is gone. Very good there. So I'm still gonna change it again because I wanna go here and make a unprotected left and we will see how the car handles this unprotected left. It needs to move on the right side, so it needs to slow down now so that it can get in. As you can see, our car is getting in. There is no other car on our right side. 
and we are gonna make a right turn here, but let's see how the car does things here. It slows down, it is getting in, there is humans coming, but it doesn't need to stop because those people are way behind. So we are going up straight now and we're gonna make a left turn. And then I'm gonna do some unprotected left, like Chuck does it in his video. But this is an interesting unprotected left. It's kind of a making a right turn and immediately make a U-turn. So we're gonna see how the car handles the situation. Also, I just have to remember, remind you guys that if you guys want to support me, please subscribe to this channel because in this channel we're gonna talk about full self-driving and stuff like that. So let's see how we can do it. So we're gonna start the navigation right now as you can see by the GPS it is already telling you to go make a right turn here and then make a U-turn immediately so this is a very narrow road also this video is sponsored by our full self-driving magnet are you a Tesla FSD beta tester stop scrolling the FSD beta bumper magnet is a must-have this sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove, and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out. Grab yours on Amazon today. Uh, if you are a full self-driving Tesla user, you can easily, easily, easily... This is a car. Uh, we just need to side of it's just like a people standing and there is a car so we're gonna see how the car handles things here and there sorry guys i just don't want to be you know rude it's just like my car is not doing anything um so what i'm gonna do is take over there are some space definitely on the left side i'm just gonna take it and i'm just gonna you know uh take over and i can just pass this car by myself unfortunately my fsd couldn't do it FSD couldn't do it. It just stuck behind that car and that car is not moving because he just parked there. And if a human can do it without backing up, so FSD should have done it. But it didn't do it. I can just give it more time to see. But I, I prefer to not make this video long. We're gonna make a right turn. As you can see, there are a uh, green light. We can definitely make a right turn. And let's go! This is what I wanted! This is what I wanted for my whole FSD experience that you move to this lane and then you make this U-turn. Oh my goodness, this is good. This is like really, really good. It did it, it did it for the first freaking time. Oh my God, it ran a red light, but it did it. This is amazing guys, because that's the moment I always talk about in my video. I always test in my video that you need to do certain things differently than any other unprotected left turn because this is a different unprotected left turn. You need to go all the way straight and we are testing the stop sign again. We're gonna see because probably this time it couldn't even do it because it's the very last moment I changed the navigation. Now it is doing it. There is no other car and now it is. It did it this time too. At the very last moment, my, okay, my car is not a stick out right now. Pretty, pretty good. This video is going long, but I'm happy that I get something from this software update that the car can do certain things. It missed completely a stop sign, but it did something very special that I was waiting for a long time. That moment, because in my, if you follow my channel, you know how much I love this unprotected left where we need to make a right turn and then immediately make a U-turn. There are some bushes. Our car goes very slow to look at its left side and right side to be clear that there is nothing or in the road. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna make a right here and make a left on the stop sign. We're gonna see how the car handles this situation as you can see. Um, pretty, pretty nice. Right, guys, we're gonna creep here to look on our left side. There is, okay, there is creeping. There is creeping, but the car didn't even stop. So it could just creep a little bit and look on the left side a little bit more and then, you know, like also in this road because of the bushes, the car always goes all the way in the middle to look on the right side. We're gonna find out in this version how the car does things. So we have to creep here 
as you can see, it is creeping and now it is doing it. Yeah, it didn't creep all the way in the middle. Very good job there too. This is also very, very good update here that in my previous version 12.3.6, the car almost goes in the middle to look on the right side because the camera is far behind in this, in this, you know, like B pillar. And that moment the car needs to go all the way to the middle to look on the right side. But this time, probably, uh, the software is optimized and it knows what to do. There is a, a truck, um, bus just cross the road. Our car just merges perfectly into this road. And I'm very happy unless that major mistake that the car made is run a, re a stop sign. But after that, the car didn't make any mistake and it did something very, very special. We're going to just do some unprotected left in the next video on that same route. And we're going to find out in different situation, different air uh, lighting condition and stuff like that, how the car handles things. We need to move to the left side because we're going to make a left turn. My car is telling me to pay attention. I'm doing it right now. Okay, let's see. Now it is changing the lane. Pretty good there. And as you can see, there is no other car on the left side. Uh, it seems like a little slow because the speed limit is 40. I put it on 52. The car is going on 40. Um, not a major issue, just being safe, I'm thinking. And we need to go into this yellow mark lane to make a left turn pretty smooth i can definitely tell you in version 12.3.6 it drives much smoother it is more confident but it still has some flaws where it runs red light um you know uh, we have to deal this kind of things pretty much um until they fix this kind of thing in near future and we're definitely waiting for actual smart summon and thank you for watching guys. Make sure you purchase our magnet from Amazon because that's very cool to let other people know that your car can drive itself. And thank you for watching again and have a wonderful, wonderful day.